Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I'm going to do a video on lighting Tamiya dashboards. I've got a dash out of a uh, King Hauler Grand Hauler, a dash out of a Mercedes 1850L, and a dash out of a Mercedes AROX. We're going to um, light all of them up with different techniques. You're going to want to watch the whole thing because I use different techniques on each one, and uh, they, they uh, look pretty good when they're all lit up. So. Uh, this will be a fun video. Also, I just want to announce that I've got my new website up at hobbyconcepts.net. There's a link in the description, so check that out. And let's get started. On this 1850L dash, what I'm going to do is they use uh, round gauges here. So I'm going to drill holes that coincide with the round gauges and cut square holes here and then uh, mount the panel on a piece of uh, clear plastic that goes over the top of that and build a light box in the back to prevent light bleed. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill some holes. After a little bit of work uh, you can see how I, I drilled out the panel on this one and those correspond to the areas that I want to illuminate. So I'll build a light box for the back side. On this uh, AROX panel there's some larger areas. This is a GPS screen and uh, some various screens. So I drilled a bunch of holes and then cut apart with an X-Acto knife and then trimmed it out with a knife and, uh, and a uh, fingernail file. So no high-tech uh, work there, just cutting those open. Now we'll build some light boxes. I'm going to concentrate on this uh, Mercedes 1850 dash a little bit. So what I've got here are two little light boxes that I built out of sheet styrene and they're going to drop into the back like that and like that. And then the LEDs are going to go in those holes. Now what that'll do is that will capture the light. If you just put an LED underneath here, the light bleeds out everywhere. And so I'm going to paint the inside of these with some silver paint. Eventually I'll paint the outside with black paint. And that way the light only shines through the through the front. You can see this one has an angle. Uh, and it's angled at the same angle as these with one bulb kind of right in the center. And this one I've got the two bulbs behind the two um, main instruments. And that should light everything up really nicely, especially with the silver paint inside. So I'm going to go ahead and paint those and glue in the bulbs. I've uh, painted the dash, mounted the uh, light boxes to the back. They're painted silver inside, so now it's time to do the LEDs. I just want to touch briefly on them. This is just a standard little LED. Um, the, the leads are different lengths. The longer lead would be your positive lead and the shorter lead would be your negative lead. Now you can't just hook them to a battery. You've got to use a resistor. Uh, in this case I've got about a 680 ohm resistor. So what I'm going to do, I've got a power supply here. So I'll hook the plus lead to this resistor and then I'll do a jumper from the resistor to the plus lead on my LED and then my negative lead will light the LED. So I've got right now there's 10 volts let's see 12 volts roughly that's about what we're going to operate this truck on it's going to operate on a 3 cell so uh, nice bright LED and the resistor won't will keep the LED from burning out. So what I've done is I've taken three LEDs and you can see here that I've got a resistor soldered right directly to the positive lead and then to a red wire and a black negative wire to the negative lead. And I've got another resistor here, another resistor here, so each LED has its own resistor. I've tied those all into two leads which will become my my power leads and I soldered them up in such a way that 
these will fit my holes. So I will go ahead and, uh, and mount those up. Before I mount them though, I can take my power supply and I can go to my positive lead here negative lead here and those should light up. You can see they light up and that's going to give me my dash lighting. So also you'll notice that these light up the back so after I glue these in I'm going to paint them with some black paint to prevent any light bleed from um, from behind the panel but I think that's going to look pretty good. I've got a piece of thin, clear acetate, and I'm going to glue the dash stickers to this, then cut them out, and then glue those to the panel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got the stickers on the clear, so now I'm going to use a very sharp X-Acto knife blade and cut these and uh, break the plastic and pop those out. There's my completed panel bonded to a piece of plastic. You can see I lit this up temporarily. I'm going to lay this on here just to see how it looks. I don't know how that's going to show up on the camera, but you can see that there's these lines between the gauges that are lit up that I don't want to be lit up. I want the gauges and the switches to be lit up. So what I'm going to do there is these are the lines right here. So I will take some black paint and paint those lines on the back side to prevent the light bleed. Well, there's my completed dashboard. You can see on the back here that I've I've used black paint to cover up the LEDs to prevent any light bleed. I glued down the these bare wires with a little bit of CA glue and baking soda so all the wiring is firmly attached so nothing will short out. And I've got my two leads that go out here. I can dim my lights a little bit. Let's see here. Oop. And, and I can turn my lights on. You can see how they light up. That's uh, 12 volts right there. It looks really nice. Um, everything illuminated just like I thought it would. So that's the 1850 dash. I've got some of the components painted like the uh, the steering wheel here and the seats. So I can now put that together and I will go to work on the next dash which is that uh, AROX dash. So here's my Mercedes-Benz uh, AROX dash. I glued on the lower portion, I glued on the mounts, and I cut out all the openings with a combination of an X-Acto knife and a Dremel tool. Um, see on the back side here, this dash is, got, is interesting. It's got a big curve in it, so it doesn't lend itself well to um, building little light boxes in here. So I'm going to do this one a little differently. What I've done is I have made a bulkhead on each end and glued some styrene strip in here for supports and then I cut a plate that mounts in here like that and just covers the entire bottom in one piece. So now what I'm going to do is just install my LEDs underneath this plate. I'll paint this silver and and then I'll do a similar uh, thing on the front here where I'll mount the decals to clear plastic sheeting. I'm going to need some diffusers in here so I'll probably use a milk jug and I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to need to paint this before I actually install everything so I'm going to go ahead and paint that and also I decided I'm going to do a king hauler grand hauler dash so I grabbed one of those and I grabbed a uh, a grand hauler decal sheet. It's got the instrument panel and the side panel. So I'll do the same thing as the uh, 
is the first Mercedes dash, which has cut the holes here that correspond to the gauges, and the holes here that correspond to the gauges, including the square hole for this. And I'll probably do this one with red lights. I'll have to make uh, little boxes for the back of this, for little light boxes, but that should be a pretty straightforward dash. So I'm going to do that one also. On the King Hauler dash, I drilled all the holes and used an X-Acto knife to enlarge the hole for the GPS screen. And on this dash, I'm going to actually use some uh, leftover MFC uh, LEDs. And the advantage of this is that they can just plug directly into a Tamiya MFC. So if you have an MFC truck, you can just use a couple of these plug them into an unused port like uh, a fog light or a headlight port that's unused so when you turn on your lights your dash lights come on and uh, no extra wiring is needed. The only problem is these bulbs are clear but I can fix that by just taking some to me a clear red and just dipping the bulbs in it and letting them dry. So I'll probably do that a couple times and uh, get my red uh, red bulbs. You can also use fingernail polish or something else that uh, that leaves a clear red finish to uh, to make the bulbs red. My uh, dash is cut out, of course, and I made two little plastic boxes out of uh, plastic cardstock, and these will drop in like like that. And like that, and you can see the holes in there for my LEDs. The paint I dipped them in worked great. They're dry, and those will mount in here like this. Now there's only one other thing I want to do before I put the light boxes in, is I want to put a, uh, a diffuser back here to diffuse the light and spread it out. And so for that, I'm going to use milk bottle plastic, which just works great. I've showed this trick before, but I'll get some of this smooth plastic here. Just get a piece of it. So this plastic, when an LED hits it, you can see how it, it diffuses any light that comes through it. So I'm going to make a little panel that fits in here on each one of these so it'll be on the back side of the panel here so when the LED hit, hits it it'll kind of diffuse the light so you don't get bright spots. I didn't have to do that on the Mercedes dash because I could line up the lights so good behind the instruments but on this panel I've got to kind of offset them a little bit and this diffuser will make that problem go away. I uh, glued the milk bottle lenses in with some of my favorite micro crystal clear. Now I'm going to just paint uh, the surface of those with some clear red just to deepen up the red color um, from the LEDs and then I'll glue them on. While I'm uh, waiting for that to me a clear red to dry I'm going to go ahead and put these stickers on some clear plastic and just a little tip you don't need to get fancy clear plastic this is a uh, lid off a strawberry container and the cool advantage is you get to eat the strawberries and then you can use the clear plastic so I'm just going to use some of this plastic which is very nice for my clear and I'll go ahead and stick these down on here and then I'll trim around it with a knife and have my my decals laminated to the clear plastic I uh, I laminated these to a piece of clear plastic. One thing that's important is the edge here. When the light hits the clear plastic, it actually transfers and kind of illuminates the edge all the way around. Uh, so what I like to do, and I didn't mention this on the other one, is just take a little bit of, uh, to me, uh, black paint and paint the edges 
of these panels so they don't light up around the edge. So I'll do that and then they'll be ready to install. Uh, you can see I've bent the leads over on the bulbs, glued them in. So now I've just got to glue these boxes in place. So I'll just use my standard Tamiya plastic cement. And uh, glue those in. And there's my little uh, light boxes glued in. You can see the faces. So I've got a little primer on here, but now I'm just going to mask off these areas and uh, airbrush this with my color, which will be a light sky gray. I'm actually going to use this color here. And uh, then I can glue on my little faces and that'll finish off this dash. Here's the finished um, King Hauler Grand Hauler dash. Um, I glued the panels on. I airbrushed this with some Tamiya Sky Gray. You can see the little boxes here all built in. Um, and the plug that will plug into an MFC. So I'll plug it into a like a fog light or a headlight port, turn the lights on and the dash lights will come on. I'll uh, find a truck and then we'll uh, demonstrate the lighting. So for the King Hauler Grand Hauler dash that we finished, I, I had a Grand Hauler with an MFC in it that I pulled out so I could plug it in. And I plugged this into the fog light spot. So there it is lit up. And uh, that looks really nice. Um, I'll turn some lights off and show it off. And I uh, painted the uh, Mercedes uh, AROX dash. I painted the inside too to help prevent light bleed. And uh, it turned out pretty good. I did a two-tone paint job. It's my own truck. I thought I'd do something a little extra special. Um, I used some chrome reflective tape on the bottom of this panel again to prevent light bleed and to get better reflection. So that fits in here like this. So when I get the lights in, then I'll glue this panel on and that should keep all the light where I want it. And I have to make the little panels for the front. So I will get my plastic strawberry container plastic out and do that. I used uh, a little more of my milk bottle and made a couple of diffusers. This one is going to just glue in here with some crystal clear. And this one actually just snaps into place. So that will uh, diffuse the light properly behind the panels. So I'll get those glued in place and then I'll solder up my lights. I uh, added an extra diffuser in front of each of these just because I was getting some some pretty intense light. So we'll hook that up and that kind of blanket out. You can see how the panels look with the diffusers. And now I'll put the uh, screens on. While I'm working on this uh, AROX dash, I just want to show you what a nice job to me it does on these stickers. This is a, uh, a panel that goes right here. I've already stuck it to a piece of clear plastic and cut it out. But if you look closely, there's one little switch here, four here, and then this blinker that are the only things on the panel. If you flip it over and look at the back side, you'll see that to me, uh, has darkened everything on the decal except the actual live switches. So when you light it up from the back, only the switches that are live will actually illuminate. That's really nice attention to detail, especially on the newer kits. All the, all the panels are like that. Uh, the GPS, the, Mer the Mercedes logos lit up, 
all these are opened only the switches that are open and then of course these entire panels are open which are the instruments but uh, really to me it does a great job on these the finished dash looks very nice um, and you can see I I cut I put my bottom plate on and I actually taped it in with aluminum tape instead of gluing it a couple little dots of glue but that way if I need to get in there I thought since it's my own truck I might want to do something different in the future I can just peel off the tape and pull it down but there's really no light leaks around it so that worked out well here's the uh, finished um, AROX dash I sprayed everything with a couple coats of clear flat including all the panels which I thought turned out really good I thought I'd flip some lights off here and I'll turn the dash lighting on I hope that shows up good it looks really really nice I'm very happy with how it turned out off on so there we go there we have all three dashes all lit up the King Hauler dash the Mercedes 1850 L dash and the Mercedes a rocks dash this has got red LEDs this has got blue LEDs and this has got uh, white LEDs dipped in uh, to me a clear red paint this one and this one have diffusers made out of uh, milk cartons and this one did not need a diffuser because I could get the lights right behind the dash uh, they're all a little different they all look really good so there's some great techniques to use here's all three dashes in the daylight ready to install um, they're all a little different they all look great that was kind of a fun video to do this one is designed to plug into up to 12 volts same with this one they both have the resistors added and this one uses a standard Tamiya MFC harness and we'll just plug into the MFC in a spare spare port so uh, that was a lot of fun lighting these dashes is fun and man does it look good when it's in a truck um, I am actually building the AROX little preview right here and that will be in an upcoming video and I'll have it with the lighting and everything shown in the truck later but that's how to light dashes thanks again for watching uh, please subscribe and uh, don't forget to check out my uh, new website website uh, hobbyconcepts.net uh, see you next time